This video presentation provides an introduction to the VFS-101 Pilot Speech Recognition System. The VFS-101 is a small module which mounts behind the aircraft instrument panel and allows pilots to enter waypoints into their Garmin GNS-430 and GNS-530 navigation units. Over the last decade, GPS systems have revolutionized aircraft navigation. Their displays efficiently deliver relevant information and enhance situational awareness. However, they suffer from cumbersome data entry methods. These limitations are especially apparent in the entry of IFR flight plans. This is an actual IFR flight plan clearance received from air traffic control by a pilot flying from South Albany, New York to Florence, South Carolina. The clearance consists of a sequence of waypoints and airways, as illustrated on this small section of an IFR en route navigation chart. The first two waypoints from the clearance, Agnes and Sages, are shown in the upper left quadrant. Also illustrated are Victor Airways, identifying commonly used navigation routes. The pilot uses the chart to determine the sequence of waypoint identifiers to be entered into the navigation units, as shown to the left. To enter the flight plan waypoints, the inner right-hand knob is rotated to A for Agnes. The outer right knob is used to advance to the next character position. This process is repeated for G, then N, E, and finally Z. The enter button completes the sequence. Agnes is now shown as the first waypoint in the flight plan. This process must be repeated for the remaining 16 waypoints. Even for experienced operators, this requires about 4 minutes and 45 seconds of focused attention and interferes with other important pilot duties such as maintaining an assigned heading and altitude, visually identifying and avoiding other aircraft, remaining clear of restricted airspace, and other critical activities. While manual flight plan entry continues, let's consider entering the same flight plan using VFS-101 speech recognition. Since the VFS-101 automatically expands Victor Airways, a shorter entry sequence can be used. The VFS-101 is activated by a yoke-mounted switch. Recognition results are shown on the title line. Alpha Gulf November Echo Zulu Enter. Sierra Alpha Gulf Echo Sierra Enter. Lima Hotel Yankee Enter. Lima Victor Zulu Enter. Victor 2 Niner Enter. Sierra Bravo Yankee Enter. Victor 1 Enter. India Sierra Oscar Enter. Foxtrot Alpha Yankee Enter. Foxtrot Lima Oscar Enter. The pilot was able to enter 30 waypoints in less than 20 seconds rather than the five minutes required by manual entry. This can be done regardless of turbulence and is aided by automatic Victor Airway expansion. After review, the flight plan is activated. The pilot is now navigating the new flight plan to Florence, South Carolina, and the initial portion of the flight plan is shown on the navigation page. The VFS-101 system is speaker independent and does not require any form of enrollment to work with a new pilot's voice. Returning to the manual entry in progress, we see that only seven of the 17 waypoints have been entered so far. For routine flight operations, the VFS-101 also supports direct two commands, allowing the pilot to quickly set a single waypoint as a destination without flying a more complicated route. For example, to immediately return to the Albany VOR, the VFS-101 user would depress the yoke-mounted switch and enter the destination. Direct Alpha Lima Bravo activate. Confirm Alpha Lima Bravo direct. The readback is confirmed by a double click of the yoke mounted switch, and the desired destination appears on the nav page. For further information about the VFS 101, please visit our website at voiceflight.com. 